Seven. Is that going to be like the usual YWC uh, predictions video intro? Start, start with seven, yep. <laughs> okay, I'll go with it. Welcome everybody here to our YWC predictions for our upcoming pay-per-view, the SmackDown exclusive, Money in the Bank. And uh, I can definitely say that I've been looking forward to this pay-per-view, and I think the other guys that are joining me have said the same. Uh, just two of us for guests. Well, two of us. Two of them. Wow. Two of us. If there's, if there's two of us, who's the one left out? Kyle. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, as you can hear us. clearly, um, myself, Kyle Matthews, Michael Norman, going to be giving you us pr our predictions. Uh, predictions. I got to stop talking fast. I, I say words before <laughs> what I'm saying. Um, but we also have the predictions of a couple of other people as well that we'll be announcing after we make our predictions for each one of the matchups. Uh, only... Five confirmed matchups, and I'm trying to remember, maybe you guys can help me out. I didn't even bother to look before we started recording. Did Extreme Rules have a kickoff show match or no? Yes, Extreme Rules had yep. um, Apollo Crews and um, Kalisto. Okay, all right, yep, you're correct. I couldn't remember because I actually didn't watch Extreme Rules until like midway through, so I didn't even see the pre-show. Okay, so we don't know if there is going to be a pre-show match. The one that's being rumored um, is Brizongo versus the Colognes, but we don't know if that's going to be the case or if they're going to throw something else together. Regardless, um, we're just going to use the Brizongo Colognes if it's a possible one that's going to be happening. Um, we'll just do that. But we're doing something different, and Michael knows this. Kyle's going to find out now. Uh, we've had a lot of situations in the last p few pay-per-views where a lot of times it comes into a tie. And whenever a tie happens, whoever is the champion, current champion right now, Kev Shearer, um, we end up having a champion retain. So, to try and avoid the tying up um, with just having it be one point piece, we're actually in terms of, I guess we can say relevancy, we are having a different point system now for each one of the matchups. Um, we're going to have each matchup somewhere between a value of one to five points. And each matchup is going to vary. And if someone gets, let's say, a win of a three-point matchup, but somebody else gets a win on a four-point matchup, that hopefully is going to shuffle the points up a little bit. So when I give the different matchups, I'll be also telling what the points values are for each one of these matchups um, as we go on. So we'll start first off with the rumored pre-show matchup. And if this matchup doesn't take place, we're going to scrap it. The points won't even count for this. But since this is the one that's rumored, um, we got Brizongo and the Colognes. And uh, in a tag team matchup. So this one's going to be worth two points. And I guess we'll start with Kyle. Kyle, who would you have in this matchup? I would take Brazongo. They have a lot of momentum going right now. And they're the face team in this in the kickoff show. And they usually you know, they usually give the faces a win in the kickoff. Okay, Michael, who would you have? Uh, I'd go with Brazongo. You know, I, I don't really see them giving much up to the Cologne, but... I, and I just see them giving Brizongo at least a good win. Okay, and I would also go with Brizongo as well. Um, I don't see what the kind of push they're giving him, why they would have him lose on a uh, kickoff matchup. Um, a big reason why they're saying that this is a matchup that's going to be happening is they don't see how, with the push they're being given and the popularity, how they can keep them off of a uh, uh, upcoming pay-per-view like Money in the Bank. Um, also, um... Well, we won't put this in the predictions video, but uh, just b between uh, you guys and me, I have a new prediction of who it was that attacked Tyler Breeze. But anyway, we'll get to that at some other point, probably on Michael's uh, podcast. So now we move on. I read a, I, I yeah, read a, whenever that comes out. So, sorry to interrupt you there, but I read a, a rumor that they could possibly throw Brazongo into the tag team title match, make it like a triple threat match of some sort. That would be cool. But if that's the case, why did they have the Colognes come out on the past uh, SmackDown and have it be a, you know, a f uh, four on four tag team matchup? I don't know. Anyway, it, that that's a possibility though. Uh, next up, this is for three points, and I have a feeling that uh, 
everybody's going to get three points on this one regardless. It's the women's championship match. Naomi defending against Lana, who got a random title shot. Unbelievable. And uh, so we'll start first, I guess, with Michael, who has his microphone muted because he's too busy playing Friday the 13th instead of making predictions. No, I am going to obviously say Naomi on this one. She may, she's probably going to be the, the only remaining face champion go, coming out of Money in the uh, excuse me, Money in the Bank. So it's kind of obvious, you know. I you really think they're going to give Lana the belt? Uh, <laughs> that'd be so weird if they did. Exactly. Kyle, who that's, you got? That's my logic into that. You know, this one isn't as I don't think this one is as easy as it sounds. I mean, there's you know a couple of possibilities they can go with this match. I mean, I think, yeah, yeah, the easy pick would be Naomi retaining, but, you know, I could, it really wouldn't surprise me if they shocked everybody and had um, Lana and become the champion for, like, a minute or so and then have the, mon- the Money in the Bank winner come out and cash in and leave with the belt. So that's always a possibility, but I'm going to play it safe and just say Naomi. Well, you're going to play it safe. Everybody else seems to be playing it safe. Almost makes me want to try and step out and just see, you know, if maybe going the swerve route. Because you, you brought up the point there of the possible Money in the Bank briefcase holder coming out. And uh, we know Lana doesn't have a lot of experience. It would make me wonder how they're going to schedule the matchups if they have the ladder match first and they have the championship match later on. I'm going to, you know what, Kyle, you sold me. I'm going to go with Lana and, and, and based off of your... Um, kind of fantasy booking there. I'm going to go off of that. I'm going to go with Lon. I'm going to be different and see if that works. Okay. What have I got? I mean, what what's there to lose? Because everybody else has picked Naomi. We've also got two other people that have uh, given previous picks um, for us to be able to announce here in the video. Levi McIntyre and the defending champion, Kev Shear have also picked Naomi for this matchup. So, I mean, I kind of feel, you know, if, if, I, if I lose, okay, I'm down by three points, but I'm up on everybody else by three points if I gain it. And you, you kind of sold me on that, Kyle. So exactly. If you, you know, if you end up getting it right, you look like a genius. And everybody exactly. else just... Yeah, but you're, you're going to pull a big-time prediction like how uh, Kev did when he switched his pick to Jinder Mahal. Exactly. Watch that end up being like the deciding match. It, it might be. Who knows? And if so, Kyle's going to take credit for my pick. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> right. let's, let's move on to the next matchup, which is the Tag Team Championship matchup. The Usos defending against the New Day. This is going to be for a total of three points as well. Um, I guess I'll go first on this one. I'm going to be picking the New Day. And the reason being, I ended up seeing an article, I believe it was on the Bleacher Report. And Rhino and Heath Slater had their Tag Team Championships for around 80 days. And then it went to the American Alpha, who held the Tag Team Championships for around 80 days. And now, the Usos have held the Tag Team Championships for around, you guessed it, 80 days. So I think it's going to be that uh, the title belts are going to switch hands, and I think the New Day are going to be the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Kyle? Which I hate to agree with, but I do. That's my pick, the New Day. Well, I think the New Day are going to become the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Champions, just not immediately. I, I don't think this is going to be a... I don't think this is going to be like a one-and-done match. I think this is going to be a continued feud for at least the next, whatever the next pay-per-view is afterward. And I'm going to say that Usos retain in some sort of heelish fashion. Okay, all right. And uh, Levi has said the New Day will be the new champions. The champion, Kev Shearer, has also... Oh, no, I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, yeah, Kev Shearer has also gone with the New Day. And I forgot to mention as well, Dylan Young has given us his picks as well. I'll go back real quickly. He said Naomi for the Women's Championship match. And he's predicting the Usos to retain their titles for the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship. So I apologize for that. I only mentioned Levi and Kev for the uh, Women's Championship match. But uh, Dylan Young choosing the Usos. Now we move on to the next matchup, which this is for a total of four points. WWE Championship, Jinder Mahal defending against Randy Orton. Uh, we'll start with Kyle. Um, I can't see them putting the belt back on Orton. Yeah, should I, should oh. I also put the footnote in Randy Orton's hometown of St. Louis? Yeah, yeah so definitely going to go with Jinder Mahal. Yeah, Jinder Mahal, now that you threw that in there, because who wins in their hometown? I'm Rich really one. Not, it's, 
and Alexa Bliss actually on Raw to become the number one the uh, number one contender for the, the women's title. The number one tag team contender. Well, I think, I, yeah, I exactly. think they've basically been saying like pay per view wins in the hometown. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say Jinder Mahal. All right, Michael. I, I just said it, Jinder Mahal. Well, I didn't ask you. I asked Kyle, and you butted in. Well, so I, I gave to... you my answer anyway. I don't care. Now I'm asking you for your official answer. That's your inverted answer, and okay, and I'm also going with Jinder Mahal, as are Dylan, Kev, and Levi, so it's Jinder Mahal all the way across the board. Which means Randy Orton will probably become the new champion. Probably. Alright, so next up, we're going to get to our two Money in the Bank ladder matches, a women's ladder match and a men's ladder match. Both of these matchups are going for five points, since obviously there's a lot of competitors in this one. Um, so we'll start with first with the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Natalia versus Carmella versus Tamina. We're going to start with Michael. Who do you have and why, Michael? Good pick. On to Kyle. <laughs> All right, I guess so. Michael's, Michael's, sorry, sorry. Michael's, I, was, I, was, I was escaping, okay? Not Michael escaping. picks nobody. <laughs> no, I pick... Uh, who's it? Charlotte. I said earlier today, Charlotte. Alright, you're going with Charlotte. I'm gonna go with, um, Carmella. Uh, just based off the fact that she's got James Ellsworth with her. So, I'm going with Carmella. Kyle, who you got? F-A-B-U-L-O-U-S, Carmella. Alright, so Kyle's going with Carmella. Kind of interesting. So far, with the people that have actually given their predictions, it's only been Charlotte and Carmella who have been picked. As Dylan and Kev have picked Carmella, Levi has gone with Charlotte Flair. So, sorry, Becky Lynch, Natalia, and Tamina. Nobody thinks you can do it. Anyway, moving on to the final matchup. Again, four five points. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin. And we're going to put a little footnote, possibly Rusev. Kyle bringing this up in our... Uh, our podcast earlier today that Rusev might be able to return and be a seventh member, but uh, since the only those six are announced, uh, I guess I'll go first on this one. Uh, I'm going to go with Baron Corbin to win because um, basically the same reasoning I gave when we made our uh, tentative predictions earlier today in the podcast. Corbin, since the Royal Rumble, has been on a bit of a push, and I think regardless of the fact that he suffered the pinfall victory last SmackDown, I think he's going to be the one that's going to get the big push. He's won, They're saying that WWE wants to push him as the number one heel on SmackDown, and I think being the Money in the Bank briefcase holder, he can do that. Kyle, who you got? I'm going with Corbin as well, um, for a lot of the same reason you gave. You know, he's been getting a huge push over the last, probably this whole year, and, and honestly, I can just picture him carrying that briefcase around. I don't know why. I just can. Alright, and Michael, who is... Oh, no, he's not in the run from Jason anymore. Alright, so I'm going to also go with Baron Corbin as well. Because it's just pretty much what you said. They want to push him into the top heel. At the same time, you know, all the rumors going around switching from Shinsuke Nakamura to Baron Corbin. So that's why I'm going with Baron Corbin. Okay, so it's almost, for the people that made predictions so far, almost unanimous Baron Corbin, Kev Shearer, and Levi McIntyre also going with Baron Corbin. One guy going outside the box, Dylan Young, thinks Shinsuke Nakamura is going to win, so... If Shinsuke well, he wins, will be wrong. If, if Shinsuke wins, Dylan might be the new champion, who knows? Yeah, that could come down to it, right? It could. I mean, you know, I was the only one that predicted Samoa Joe for Raw, kind of swerved a lot of people, you know... They're thinking there. SmackDown's got some very interesting booking that's been going on, so they could maybe swerve us and go on a different storyline than what we expect. So, you never know. I think SmackDown's writers have been good, and they may have a surprise in store for us. But anyway, that's going to do it for our predictions. A um, couple of other people that will more than likely be giving us their predictions uh, that you'll see down in the description. Chris Dawson, Sean Henley, Trent Dunham, so you can see what their predictions were. And we'll see who is the winner. Hopefully, this new point system splits us all up. But uh, then again, we may have we'll see. End, we may have, end up having a tie again. Who knows? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the Money in the Bank uh, pay per view on WWE, brought to you by YWC. They're gonna so take this video down now. And and, and before we still end off in a tie, if we yeah. And if 
and if they, and if Nikki Bella is a surprise entrant in the in the women's money in the bank match, and she walks out with the briefcase, we are definitely suing them. Absolutely. Yep. No doubt. I'm gonna 100%. Start, I'm probably gonna have my uh, lawyer's phone number on speed dial. If I hear that music, <laughs> it's I'm pressing the button. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, if you want to, you can let us know what your predictions are down in the comments below as well. And uh, we will see you guys for our next pay per view after that. And I believe. Great balls of fire. Yep. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Which is still the name of the pay per view. But anyway, till next time, until Michael's next seven, we'll see you later. <laughs>